All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, welcome back, guys. We're sitting down here in the basement or in the crawl space and fixing to get the water lines done. I told you on the last video that's where we're stepping to. I'm not sure at what level we're going to get them done, but I'm definitely going to get water to our toilet. Oh, that would be amazing. Probably water to a sink. I am actually kind of shocked at how much water it takes to use a toilet. It's shocking when you have to do it yourself when you're filling buckets Woo, that's a lot of you water realize, oh wow flushing a toilet you actually use the bathroom quite a bit yes <laughs> <laughs> and the bucket gets heavy hauling it back and forth too all right guys i want to bring up one thing some of our subscribers have mentioned that they have been unsubscribed this is an ongoing problem with youtube i have no clue why it's happening but Double check to make sure you're subscribed. Make sure the bell is clicked for notifications so that you'll see every video that we put out. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get on with this water system. We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, we're going to start with the manifold. Yeah. manifold is up. All right guys, so this is our manifold and basically how a manifold works is I'll bring in from our well pump, it'll run to our pressure tank, from our pressure tank it'll run into one of these and what this does is we'll have hot and cold coming into these particular spots here and then off of that you branch and each one of these has an off on off valve, right? So the beauty of a manifold is in its short runs, meaning it runs under 20 or 30 feet, in a smaller home, manifolds are great because I can turn off right at the manifold each individual facility or a sink, a toilet, bathtub, whatever I'm working on or needs maintenance, I can turn off right here. Also, if I wanted to drain the entire system, I can drain everything right here as long as I keep the low points at the manifold. The only other option I have is what's called a trunk and branch. A trunk and branch is a main line that runs through the house that you branch off of as you get to each sink or toilet. And so the main line would be, you know, one inch or three quarter inch. You'd branch off of that with a half inch or a three eighths line going to each sink, toilet, whatever needs water whether it's hot or cold. The manifold system is what's going to happen for our house. It's going to be what's simple and I think what's worked. This is the first time I've actually done the manifold system. I normally do trunk and branch, but because our house is only 30 by 50, all of our runs are very, we're putting this right in the center of the house in the crawl space. All of our runs should be very similar, about 20 feet, and it should work out great. We'll see. So here we go, we're gonna start running some water lines. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'll show you, I'm gonna come off the well pump to the pressure tank. The pressure tank has a one inch line feeding it. I'm gonna come off of the pressure tank with a one inch line. Then I'm gonna split that line on a three quarter inch line. I'm gonna go three quarter inch going all the way to the hot water heater upstairs, which is an on-demand water heater. And then three quarter inch running to the manifold. And that will feed cold water to the hot water heater and cold water to the cold water side of the manifold. That should do it. All right, right above my head there is our filter system, our well pump this way. Our well and well pump is right there, it comes up into that white pipe and then comes across. Guys, I'm taking that single off. I purchased this big blue triple filter. You guys can see that. So I, I purchased that, me and Vaughn. We've had filter systems in the previous houses. We like the triple filters. We can do a sediment filter and then we can do a, a carbon filter and or we can do two sediments and a carbon, anything we want. But having just the single filter system was really just a temporary setup for us. So I'm gonna cut this out. We're gonna mount this triple filter up in here. 
We're gonna get that all plumbed back in to the pressure tank that comes down this white line here. And then we can work our way across back over to right there to the manifold, feeding that with water. Okay, that's good. Just drain some water. Get that out of there while I can, I guess. There. I'm just trying to figure out this thing's got to go there too because we want full coverage. Uh -huh. And we'll line them up like that. And then that's going to be, it should be. Gives me a full thing to screw through. Now, are we right under the stove? No, we're under the bathroom. No. The bathroom. Oh, watch your head. Scary. Yeah. Anyways, the bathroom's right here. Look. Oh yeah, you are under the stove. Right here is the sink. No, uh, you're so not the quite under the stove. going to be right stove. here. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if we shouldn't double up because I'm worried about these bowing. I think I'll just leave it like this. So I guess this one, it'll stay there, but be careful, it might fall. I don't know yeah, it's So now we're gonna have to hold this up. <clears throat> and we're gonna, so this mounts up in here, right? It's actually gonna mount right in there somewhere. It's a lot of weight hanging off of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when it's full of water. Okay, so the first filter is a sediment filter. We got a second sediment filter gonna go in here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this last one empty, but it will get a carbon filter. I just don't have it yet. So we got the triple uh, filters hooked up. Now we're gonna hook up this line here. Something I am gonna hook up, guys, this is called a spin down filter. And this spin down filter is actually gonna go right before this right here. I need to pick up a couple fittings for the spin down filter, and then we'll be mounting that in there also. This spin down filter is something that uh, we're just gonna try out and see what I how I like it. It has a drain hose here for any kind of sediment that gets in there. So we'll get that plugged up here in a second. This one. Maybe. You can still save some of it for you need little pieces, huh? Cut off of it? Of course. Okay. Got it all right there. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna go up, I need that pipe. You wanna oh, grab that I'll pipe? The big long one? I guess I could just measure it. Some people would say you could just measure. It's probably wise. From there to there. Okay, 63 and three quarter. Thank you. a ring rings are right there and I need with two this of them. ring will you marry me I the wed <laughs> jam that up on there like so and then 
Now this one here is gonna go. Oh, I need a ring. I got you. Thank you. Don't want to stick it on there prematurely. Look at that. Very nice. These one inch rings are uh, definitely a challenge to crimp. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. They're, they're stiffy. Oh no, I forgot oh. a ring. Oh no. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot a ring there. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nothing worse than forgetting your rings. Yeah. Good thing you have strong hands. Well, I've got that tool right there with the yellow handle. Uh huh. Is also a crimper, and it ratchets so you don't have to put so much force on it. back in the biz. On. Okay, we gotta go from here to here now. From where to where? From there to here. Oh, there, there, over to there. Yep. Got a ring? Yeah, ring. Ring. That goes there. That sucker crimps. Good. Okay, now I just like this. You got another ring? Yeah. So I'm gonna go like this. Haha! -ha. You got a ring for me? Ring. Put that there. Put this here. There it is. All right. Okay, so the whole system is intact again. Yeah, so from the welcome. Going into the filter system, going down to the pressure tank. Back to the pressure tank. Now we got to go from the pressure tank. The pressure tank is going to come out with a short piece here, right? And then 90 up, go above the, here so I can shoot over into the cold water and go all the way over there and send cold water to the hot water heater. All right, I want to get the spin down filter put in here, so we're going to put that right in the middle here. I can put it a little bit closer. Over there. That'll go on right there. I guess I just put it the right direction. It tells you it flows that way. Okay. Thing's supposed to go in here and then it'll drain down wherever into whatever I want it to drain into. Plug the filter wrench, tighten it down. Dinner's ready already? Put two of those on there. Put that in there. Like that. There. All right. I'll go there. Making headway. Now it's three-quarter pecs, three-quarter going over there to feed the cold, three-quarter cold going that way to feed the hot water heater.
All right, well, we're gonna test. Vaughn's turning on the breaker to the well pump, and we're gonna test this section here and just see, I don't know, there might be a ton of leaks. Turn it off! Babe, can you turn off the, did you turn off the breaker? Turn the sink on, please. Yeah, drain it. Okay, the manifold was just leaking everywhere. Leaking like a sieve. All right, guys, we've been going through, you know, we've got the water line here. We've been trying to test it. It turns out we've got the manifold is cracked. This is a PEX manifold. I'm not exactly happy with it from Home Depot. The uh, mana block manifold is definitely a better manifold, but this one had a crack in it, so we weren't able to get pressure at all. So that ends our ability to plumb the house. All right, guys, I left off yesterday with uh, pretty much everything being broke. Let's see if you can see this here. So here's the manifold. You can see on each side there's 24, there's 12 shutoff valves on this side. Four of them are missing. That pipe is split. So this pipe is broke. Somewhere right up in here is a crack. I've ordered parts to fix it. So uh, I'm going to move forward. We're going to run with the cold side, which is all 12 are working and it's holding water. So I'm going to start running those lines off to the toilet, the sinks, and wherever else requires cold water. Okay guys, so this is the main line coming in right here, and then it goes to three quarter, and I, I just have blue and red, it's, it is what it is. I could have just gone all white, but I didn't have any white. So we're gonna run three quarter, split. Like I said before, this uh, goes to the manifold for my cold feeds off the manifold. This is the cold feed for the hot water heater. So I wanna get this, I just stubbed this in temporarily, it's got a plug in it. It's time to get the hot or the cold water line all the way over to where the hot water heater is going to be put in upstairs. We're going to take this off and we're going to continue the line across. Then we're going to bring our hot line from the hot water heater back across here and plug into the manifold for the hot feed. And I'm going to figure out how to run this. I think the best bet is to run it along the inside of this. Yeah. But I got to get the hot and the... Seems like you kind of need to measure it and then clip it. Well, I'd say the easy thing is to run straight over, but maybe I could run to the wall. Mm -hmm. So right now I need to go over here, right? Yeah. Maybe I could do that, just clip it right there. I wonder if I could fit two pipes right there. I'll bet I can. All right, so let's just do it. Let's pin one right here. I'll see if I can fit two pipes. Okay, we're gonna rotate this like so. We're gonna pin it in right there. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, now that's there, the red one can go next to it. Just gotta line her up. So if we cut it right about there. Whoa, that weird. There, we got a bad cut on that. Okay, this is pressurized, I think. Oh no, it's not. I drained it, right? Yeah, you drained it. Still got water in here. I'll bet you 50 bucks on it. So <clears throat> I need my grinder. Okay, so that did that for me. I was hoping that would pop off of there without me having to do any damage. There oh, we go. You got it. <sighs> oh, it's really pouring all over everything. Oh yeah, you should have seen it down here yesterday. It was shooting from there all the way to this tank. Thanks. It's too long still. Good one. Ah, beautiful.
All right, we got it. Yeah, because I'm hammered from this side. It's kind of nice. All right, I like the looks of that. Okay. There. I'm going to skip a few here because I'm running out. Okay. There. Okay, so we're gonna cut that. Uh, ring. On there. Okay. Somewhere right in there, huh? Yeah. Cut like an inch off, maybe. Cut right there. Right there, ring, 90, ring, this is going to go in there like so, it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, <laughs> you all right, here we go, crimp her up, there's one, too. Very nice. Yeah, it's such a so much nicer that doing this and that uh, doing these nineties. I was originally trying to bend it, uh -huh. but it's just too much. It was too hard. Right. I tried to put these nineties on there, and I was gonna ninety like that. Yeah. And it just was taking up way more space. Not working. It was just a pain. Gotcha. Cleaner. Much cleaner. So we got cold water coming in from the pressure tank to the manifold. This is all gonna feed cold water out to anything we need a sink a toilet everything then this cold water also goes back to the water heater that's going to be up in our entry on demand creating hot water coming back down through the red line and then pumping hot water through here and this will all be our hot water for our sinks and Shower. our showers right but we can't do that yet because because this piece is broken but we've got parts on order to fix this piece and then that's easy because this unthreads right here actually I, all i have to do is take this this bracket off mm -hmm. so this and this have to come off the, everything else will stay together right. and then uh all right so now the idea is to start sending water so from each one of these is going to be somewhere water and so we just need to make it i'm trying to get it so it's organized right yeah so like this water the all these lines here can you see these over here yeah all these come from our bathroom that way. So it's master bath, hot and colds for the sinks. I'm gonna come around the front and cross over these and loop it. This one right here. So I think we're, I'm gonna come in here like this and we'll create a loop. Oh, okay. And then come right back to the this, right? Yep. So that way I can get them all organized. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here it comes. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, okay, go ahead. Is it coming? Did you turn it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, it's working, babe. There we go. Woo! All right, take a look at this. We got a toilet filling up. Oh, look, we're so excited. <laughs> he doesn't know what we're excited about. We are excited about a real toilet. All right, guys, here it is. This one's going to our toilet. And so no more bucket brigade. This is actually, we're actually got water running to the toilet. All these other lines are gonna be hooked up. I just gotta organize how they're gonna go. I'm super excited about that. Awesome. No more filling the bucket. And there it is. And there we have it. All right guys, it's a beautiful day this morning and I'm headed out. My buddy Terry has some burbot lines set. We're gonna go check them. Let's go see if we can catch any burbot.
Oh, nice. So what I... How frozen is it? Oh, you didn't bring your ice picker. I got it. All right, guys, we're on our first hole here. Terry's got set. We've got four sets right here in a line. So uh, we'll see what we can catch. Last hole, maybe we get have some luck on the last hole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what? It feels like there's something on there. Oh, you feel oh, something? Yeah, yeah. Caught on the right. Maybe. Nope. Nothing. Oh. I'd set him again. All right. Let's do it. Killed the motor. That's not good. Well, you took mo you took water all over that motor. Yeah, I'll clean the air cleaner on it. All right. Well, got her done. <laughs> we'll get one oh. It's on bottom now. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. It huh. still, still feels like they feel weight, but it is what it is. We're burying it. <laughs> you got your stick? Yeah. <sighs> Good enough, huh? Yeah. This thing's pretty much done. Yeah, I'll get the other one out. Figure it out. You have to put a bolt through there. As I say, you need a pin it. It's got a hole for it. It looks like a preset hole. for something. Yeah. All right, well, it's uh, 21, 21 below this morning. It's beautiful. You can see the sun. It's just absolutely gorgeous out here on the river, but we've just set a few more burbot lines and uh, we'll come check them again probably tomorrow and see what we got. Time to get out of here. Hold up, let's see what we got. Hopefully. I hate getting skunked. <laughs> <laughs> there might be one. Feel something. Feel something, yeah. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little <laughs> one. We got a little one. <laughs> nice. Maybe those Hopefully we'll catch a couple. Yeah, two would be two would be good. Three would be nice. Five would be better. <laughs> Five greedy. would be fantastic. If we're gonna be, let's get greedy. <laughs> but it, I'm sure it froze a lot the other day. I mean, I can't even. Good luck pulling a fish out of there. Oh, big one. Oh, maybe. That's what I'd say. You're not even, you're not even breaking the hole out yet. I just don't want to cut my line. <laughs> you should be able to break right underneath it or around it. 
There you got it. Let me see if I can pull some out of there. This one's good. So this one's one that was missing the hook. Yeah, it broke off. But we thought maybe a pipe shot. Okay, go for it. Anything? Oh, I don't know. Felt stuck to something. Yeah. Looks like it was in dirt. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of nasty coming up. Nothing. Oh, maybe. Oh, I was just hitting on the... Oh, yeah. nothing. This one's going to have a fish. This one's going to have a fish. Yep. Oh, yeah, your hole's way over here. It don't feel like anything. It doesn't feel like a fish? No. The big zero. No. Stuck on something or what? Oh, man. Nothing. Big old goose egg. One fish? One little one. All right, guys, so the bourbon fishing didn't go quite as well as we had hoped, but we did get one bourbon, and it's just a good time to get out and do anything in the ice. We got some lines set. We pulled some sets. Bourbon is uh, a lot of poor man's lobster is what a lot of people call it. We're going to boil it up, dip it in some butter, and eat it. It's a really good fish. Guys, let's get back to the build. All right, guys, so I'm working on this red line you see here. I've been busy. I'm trying to just film a little bit as I go, but I don't want to bore you with this running all these lines. But this is the hot line going to our bathroom sink. And this is uh, the guest bathroom, not the master. So we're on the other side of the house, obviously, you can see from the filters. So this is our hot line. And I'm just going to feed it all the way back to the manifold. All right, guys, I'm going to run. You can see I got the hot line run right here, the main hot, and then this one right here is the one I just ran. I'm going to run the hot water line for, let's see, I've got the tub hot water and the washing machine hot water. I'm going to run those real quick, and then I've got to run the cold water coming across from the ice maker, and then I think... We're done and I can show you the manifold and how I'm going to kind of do everything at the manifold. All right, guys, you can see I've got uh, right here is my manifold system. I've got my cold water coming in. I've got a bunch of pipes here behind me. And all this is to the master bath. So I've got, you know, hot and cold coming in from the master bath. But all of this stuff here, here's my two main lines coming in. We got hot coming from the hot water heater, cold coming from the well pump. And then we've got washer cold, bathtub cold, toilet cold, sink cold. This goes to the ice maker for the refrigerator. This goes to the kitchen sink. So I've still got hot pipes here. You can see them hanging. The reason I haven't attached any of the hot is because uh, earlier in the video, I told you that this manifold, this section is broke. I have parts coming in to fix it. I don't want to attach any of the hots on this side because of that broke piece. So I can't energize the hots anyway. So I'll be waiting until the parts come in for that. So as of right now, we have water to the toilet. We don't have to carry buckets anymore. We have water to the ice maker or the refrigerator so we can do ice. And we can get drinking water from the refrigerator. Washing machine has water. Toilet, obviously. Sink. We now have a sink we can actually just turn on and off. And the drain's all hooked up. So brushing teeth and stuff like that. Just some simple added benefits until i get the hot water heater up and and in i have to do some sheetrock work to do that but guys yeah we're making some serious progress down here and getting the water system all set up i'm trying to keep it fairly organized all these will get pinned in place just to make them look nice and it, keep any 
tension off of the pipes here. That's pretty much all I have for you on this video. It was awesome. We got the three filters in for the whole house filter system. We got the spin down filter in for any heavy sediment or whatever that's in the water. So we got all the rough end piping done or all the rough end plumbing done for the most part as far as I can go. Guys, we sure do appreciate you watching. I just want you guys all to know, hey, I'm not a professional. I hope that these videos and you seeing us building this house from the ground up is inspiring to some of you that might want to try to do something like this yourselves. It doesn't take a professional to do it. Anyone can do it that just has the desire and the will to try to figure it out. So I hope that it inspires some of you guys to get out there and do something like this. And uh, we sure do appreciate you watching our videos and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.